Okay. Video. Assalamu alaikum. Um, this is our first uh, student working with uh, uh, in laser, uh, on lays. Uh, we began. She began with the only. Uh, try to focus it. Okay. Uh, first of all, this is the lingual surface. You have chosen. This is the tooth she has chosen. You have chosen this as the overlay surface. Okay. You have a definitive finish line. You do, but. Uh, the finish line location is more than half of the tooth. This is closer to become a partial coverage crown rather than being an in onlay or overlay. So usually we make them shallower. You don't need to, to go that de deep. Second, you have a, a correct finish line, yes, but the finish line, and you need it a bit deeper if you're going to use ceramic material. For gold or different alloys, base alloys, you're okay with this finish line. Okay. I could feel, I feel the step and it's rounded in the inside and it's flared outside. I find this is a good uh, uh, finish line. You have kept the proximal surfaces, that's correct. You have done enough occlusal reduction, if I compare this to this, because they were originally the same size, yes. But of course you have an index to compare. Mm. You have the cavity where the class one caries was there, you're okay. Uh, on this side, I've asked you to do the regular uh, uh, onlay, where it's only flared to the inside. Now, the direction of your work is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you have chosen to, to prepare in this direction. This direction is tilted buckley. This is not the direction we work on. I, I want to preserve the enamel, so I'm doing, this is not conservative. This as I told you, this was over prepared downwards. This would be the finish line of an overlay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it was an onlay only, I simply just do like this in this direction. I don't need mm. to go Buckley. this much buckley. Yes. You have gone. If I'm looking yes, at yeah, original yeah. tooth, this is the original yeah. tooth. I don't need to. I only just remove. If this was the original, I'm going to prepare it for an onlay, for example. It's just enough for me. Okay. Let me just focus here. Put the focus over here, please. Uh, try to, yes, keep the focus here, please. Okay. If, if, if Suppose this is the tooth I'm preparing. If it was an onlay, I only remove from this side. Just enough thickness. I don't need to overlap the cusp and go buckley. This is a better design for the overlay. Mm -hmm. See how minimal? But because you don't have a, a correct finish line, I could, don't consider it correct. Oh. You need a specific or definitive finish line. So... If I was going to do it an uh, onlay on this with the flush design, mm -hmm. I only need to go into the cavity with a direction like this, not outside, not to the outside. You have two directions. I could see one here and one here. So this is the yes. overlay, not the onlay. Okay. Victoria, uh, retention. What about retention? Okay. Onlay. Onlay's retention comes from the, uh, 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 not the cavity. Mm. It actually comes from the bond all around. Mm. And the bond on the enamel is better than the bond on the dentine. Yeah. And this is where the main retention you take it from. Okay? Similar to class 5. So this is the retention. So I don't need to increase the surface area. You have... The surface area is already increased by the cavity. You don't need to place grooves as we have done in the partial coverage crown. Because you have the increased surface area from inside the cavity itself. Okay? okay. Any other question? Thanks. Okay, thank you.